First Cheerios, now a boss fight. Hey guys, Saxu26 here, and welcome back to Let's Play Metroid Zero Mission Blind. We're at the home stretch, we're gonna finish the game! No, but it's gonna get harder. Yeah, well, we would finish it if we were playing the NES version. Because this is the ending for NES. By the way, this is how you're gonna heal yourself if you need to heal yourself, Marley. Yeah, aka if you're here with a low percent run, you're gonna be here grinding for like 20 minutes. And the other one is uh, her uh, in her powers in her gravity suit, like uh, in like the remains of the crashed ship, and it has zero suit Samus in the background holding a gun. Nice. That's the okay. hard one. Yeah. Okay, the bed tights. These things regenerate, so you're gonna have to blast them really fast. I don't know why I was thinking of Super Metroid for a second here, and I was thinking. If you like manipulate this hard enough, you can just go through all this stuff. But no, that's super. Yeah, that's super. That did that's that. Yeah. But yeah, that's the screenshot for hard. And by the way, that's kind of a crummy roll doing all that headache. By the way. Yeah, because it it just doesn't feel worthwhile. Oh, it's cool. fine for speed runs, but not for ugh. not for like <laughs> feeling a sense well, of a sense of achievement. Or, like, yeah. 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 Okay, so they regenerate if I don't destroy them completely. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Alright. So, if you don't rush it, it could just come back right away. By the way, this is the hardest boss in the whole entire game if you're doing a low percent run. Oh, yeah. You have next I to nothing here, which means you're going to grind. And oh, there's way too much stuff showing you. I am going it to probably die me. in this fight, too. This is by far the hardest boss in the whole entire game, low percent run. Especially when you only have two missiles. Two missiles! Yeah, huh? You have more super missiles than you do regular missiles. That's how sad it is. Well... Come on, Samus. So, once you crack open this glass, there's actually a very small spot you actually stand on that jar that doesn't get you hurt at all and you pretty much need to abuse that if you are doing a low percent yeah it's the only way you're gonna do constant damage without getting annihilated by everything dang right I'm also, when this boss fights i'm gonna point out something with that little uh ledge grab thing too because there's actually some real cool tricks you can do with that uh, Man, I don't expect you, you to get it, Marley, because I've never even gotten it. Whenever you fall down into the lava, that mother brain automatically closes the eye and it shoots a beam. So, yeah. uh, that, see, like, you fell down there and you grab the ledge. Dang it. Come on. Come on, Samus. Yeah. Trying to avoid all this yeah. crap with only one energy tank is terrible. Come on, go away, Nance. Okay, there you go. There we go. Gotcha. Okay, two minutes to self yeah, destruct sequence. So, okay. uh, what I want to mention here is when Mother Brain is exploding, you can actually stand on that sweet spot where you can't get hit, and you can run forward. That will charge up a Shine Spark. So, in this room, you can actually Shine Spark your way out. But you can only do that when Mother Brain is dying, and you have to time it very precisely. Because it barely gives you enough time to make a shine spark. Dang it. This part's hard. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this part is pretty over. difficult. And it, it feels very punishing, because if you fail this, that's technically a death. I mean, they give you a lot of time, but it's on your first playthrough where it's going to be kind of strict. Try doing this on hard. Well, on hard, you only have 60 seconds to get out of yeah, here. Yeah, the hard version of this is a lot more strict. There we go. Come on. Come on. Go, Samus. Go, Samus. Criterion. Okay. Um, nothing over here. Good, good, go. Go, go, go. New map area. Okay. That's really not what I was expecting. <laughs> uh, I'm just waiting for like a, uh, an empty circle to appear on the map and just be like, what? There's an area that's got an item here. Um, 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 um. <laughs> Keep going, keep going, keep going. There you go. And you're done. And we're out of here. 
Mission complete. Mission complete. Congratulations, you blown everything to smithereens. Oh good, Samus is under job. Blow thing up. Now, this is one dumb moment. Why she take off her suit when she's not even out of the atmosphere yet? Bad move. Bad move. The zero mission. So she's not quite as um, experienced with the nonsense she's been having to deal with. Ooh! <laughs> Which is why she's, you know, blindsided by that. Oh boy. Yes, you run away, you troglodytes. Now, the weird thing is, like, you would think she would have had enough time during that crash sequence to put back on the suit. But no, she didn't. So all you oh, have is a sadness. little pistol. Yeah, that little pistol does nothing. All, all it does can is, do is stun. stun. And the answer is... Meh. I'm not too thrilled about this. Are you ready for I'm Metal Gear Metroid? I'm, yeah, Metal Gear Metroid. Let's play Met Metal Gear Metroid. Where's the baby? <laughs> well, at least I still got my power grip. <laughs> yeah, of all the powers you keep, it's power grip. Because you don't even have high jump. I think the jump is back to normal. Well, you keep power grip. I always thought that was funny that they that, that kept power grip and they're like, oh, well, <laughs> little note, <laughs> yeah, you can't morph ball. But can crawl, Metroid but can crawl. Metroid can crawl. But only when she's in zero suit. Metroid can crawl after all. Metroid can crawl after all. Metroid can crawl. Yeah, exactly, you can't. Guess what? Your pistol can't open hatches. Nope. At least not now. You can't open that door with a pistol. It's too strong. Oh, that looks suspicious. Yep. Don't mind me just blowing up your walls, because I can. Hello, security. Now, time to get a sneak peek of what do you have to deal with. Freaking spawning and crab people. <laughs> crab people. Where's me money? I need me money, SpongeBob! Now, this map room, you can actually skip this and speedrunners like to do it, but I swear it's really hard to skip that map. Because it, like, magnetizes you to I the map. I can see why! Yeah, because it's in the middle, but if you jump over it, you still somehow grab it. Like, you have to jump in a very specific spot. So it's weird to see Samus just like zip down. Well, no, you certain can't open hatches. Can't. Hatch. <laughs> By the way, the save rooms in this area heal you completely. Which you will need. Well, I'm definitely taking that. Um, but yeah, you cannot re open red hatches. <laughs> no, of course, because they need missiles. Yeah. yeah. And a charged pistol shot, I'm guessing, is not, is not even strong enough like a missile. In fact, the charge shot barely does anything. All it does is, I think, stun, uh, stun enemies for a little bit longer. And that's it. Yeah. Come on. I'm shooting you in the head. Come on. <laughs> no, 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 no. And immediately and gets caught begins. and sees the problem here. Oh, it begins. If you're it caught, begins. It begins. It begins. If you're caught, they shut down a lot of the ways you can go with these locked doors. You have to wait until you're not seen. That you what? Mean. Guess it was nothing. Huh? Guess it was nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love how that space part's like, eh. <laughs> he can literally see you, but he opens the door for you anyways. He's like, oh, I think that's Samus over there. Well, just to be safe, I should probably open back up the hatch. So, she can get through. It should be yes. okay, right? <laughs> Space fire, you're fired. Aww. 
Don't activate the sir, the sensor yeah, beam. Yeah, I don't think we need to tell you that that's bad. Nope. You could activate that one to get to the door, but it's not very worth it. Because everything else is going to lock off. That's not... That doesn't seem like a good idea to me. Oh, careful where you shoot oh, here. Oh, be careful here. Oh! Because, well, okay, yeah. then I'm just going for the other door, then. Here's the thing with that, it is very possible for you to not hit that laser, <laughs> but again, you have to be very precise. Well, I'm here, I might as well. Hello, guys, this was a bad idea. I think those base fires do like a full energy tank, too. Yeah, they do. Each shot's like a full tank. Uh, Which is uh, why you definitely uh, need the uh, save room okay. healing thing. This is bad, man. <laughs> yeah, he, he needs to find a save room quick because three more hits by these guys and it's no more zero suit, it's just birthday suit. Should be dead. No, no! Death, not good. Could you not please? Could you not please? Thank you. No. You see why I had to get stocked up on, on uh, energy tanks before we got to the start? Yeah, for your first time, having as many tanks here really helps. You having all but three of the tanks here is definitely going to make a difference as you get shot. Oh yeah, because let's face facts, I'm going to need all of them. Even though I'm, only, I'm down to one at the moment. Could you not, please? Oh, dang. Oh. <laughs> yeah, nuts to you and your noise. <laughs> nuts to you and your noise. Metroid Zero nuts. Well, it is true. Well, I mean, that, I mean, you're not I wrong. I mean, you're not wrong. <laughs> have you seen a walnut? No, I have not. I <laughs> Do we have Walmart? No. Thank God. They, they <laughs> might cancel us in the SP order. <laughs> <laughs> Heaven forbid, I might not be able to get to Oh, no! Well. You just Yeah, you just destroyed cover. your hiding spot. I would leave and come back, because the wall comes back. I will say though, if you've mastered how to do wall jumping in this game, this section becomes a lot easier to do stealth because you can just kind of climb up a wall. Stealth? What's that? Wall jumping? <laughs> Pretty much. Because some sections I think you can kind of just outright avoid if you can just wall jump up. There. There, just stay. <laughs> Don't shoot it. <laughs> just a fun shoot when he walks away. I do that plenty of times. Like, well, he's, she's not there I'm anymore. Boom! To. What was I'm that? I'm so tempted to. Wait, what was that? <laughs> I heard so. It's like in Fusion, when the SAX is about ready to walk away, you just shoot it in the head. And then <laughs> run away. Like, you don't uh, need to. But, you just feel like... left these giant computer mouses here? <laughs> Ooh, I must remember this for later. Maybe oh I can use gosh, it for a PC Marley, game. I'm calling that a computer mouse from now on. But it is! But Marley, quick... But, but Marley, what's the DPI in that mouse? Does it have RGB? Is it wireless? Don't pretend it's important. <laughs> RGB everything. That's uh, what the PC way, that Gaming has taught me. PC RGB race. Yes, WTF barbecues with you, too. <laughs> like the only one who actually gets the whole put lights in everything craze because, dear God, PC gamers like to have everything light up. Their wires now, I think, are gonna be the next thing with RGB lights on them. <laughs> oh, your power cord connected to the wall? Yeah, it has a, a, a light on it. <laughs> no reason, we just like to have it red, green, and blue. It looks pretty. Oh, God! I mean, oh, thank you. all the innards now for your computer can have RGB lighting, like your co your coolers, your graphics cards, your memory for some reason. I think your there fridge. is an RGB hard drive. Give it time, you can RGB your fridge. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'm not lying, I've seen someone put RGB lights on a desk chair. What the heck? Yeah, that's why I don't watch Lion's Tech Tips. <laughs> tech Tips. RGB everything. Okay, what? Okay, don't get spotted by the searchlight! Now, okay, Six, I already know how you do your videos. You cannot tell there's searchlights in this section if you're not playing in 60 frames. There's like one searchlight here and no searchlight there, like, they flicker. Bye, bye, going away now. Stay, stay. 
Oh, he, was that, there that Samus here? Pirate, yeah. That space pirate is dumb. Yeah. Yeah, I've played old world games. I have seen poor ability to see things that are obvious before. This is nothing. Yeah, this makes no sense. Again, Sleek's blind as a bat. Ah. <laughs> uh. Oh, this looks like a boss room. This is oh. one of those sections where if you can do wall jumping, you can kind of just skip a lot of this by just jumping around the lasers. Yeah. Which you actually are trying. So, yeah, you can see what I mean. You jump up here, and then you just on top of all the lasers. It makes it a lot easier. <laughs> and space pirate. Dude, space oh, this is stupid. Pirate. This is really stupid. He just doesn't look up. Remember, this is a solid object. Remember, this is a solid object. Might yeah, hurt. this guy's a solid object, so yeah, you're right. Oh, by the way, hello! <laughs> Speaking of solid object. Yeah. Oh, this part. Oh, yeah, God. well, they put them in the ceiling and you run into them. Your first time playing, that is guaranteed to happen. Go, 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 so I'm not surprised to see it happen. Now we're going to be stuff. going into a completely new area. Oh, Kozo Ruins. Yeah, the shows are ruins. I'm gonna crawl over like this way. Goodbye. Good goodbye. Oh. So hopeful there for a second. I was, hey, I was hoping oh, we just forgot about you. Oh, this was funny. Casey? Oh, gonna get you! <laughs> okay. Thank you very much. Okay. What's in the <laughs> next room? I want, I want to see what's in the next room, unless it's a boss fight that's filled with games. No, there's no boss fight yet. We'll tell you that at least. A little more exploring. More heads, so. Anyway. More Chozo heads. More Chozo head blocks. Choose your heads wisely. And you get more of these searchlights. It is yeah, these, possible uh, to do the wall jump all the way up here, but the searchlights kind of block you. So you have to be very careful if you do that trick. Oh, for the... <laughs> I was the so hoping... Hair. Dear Samus, I blame your ponytail. I blame Sir, your what ponytail. Is this, what is this blonde thing on my laser? Oh, that's Samus' hair. Oh, good. Oh, no, wait, the, the searchlight's yellow. That might, we may have just missed that. Oh, no, that may be a mistake on our part. Did he kill one? Of, he kill one of his teammates? I mean, they can't do Team it. Team player, that one. Sir, I did. I killed Samus. No, you killed Bob. Oh no! No, no! <laughs> I blame Samus. No, you were just incompetent. No! I can't wait until we get to that one section where you're crawling for so long. It's gonna be hilarious. Oh, this one's good. Just shoot him. No. If you shoot him while he's standing on that block, he will fall down and then forget you exist. Which means you do have to loop back around, though. Oh, dang it. I heard Master Roshi's looking at his uh, telescope again. <laughs> he's just trying to look at those those babes on the shoreline. And then Chi-Chi wow. gets in his face for it. Pity for him, there is no workout exercise video going on here. Oh, oh, he would still be interested in this. It's Roshi we're talking about here. Although he has gotten better in Super. He had to train himself to not get attracted by boobs every five seconds. Of course. <laughs> I mean, how old is he by now? That'd probably give him a heart attack. I mean, it's like the famous universe relies on him not falling for a love trap. Which he almost did in Super. Like, you just train yourself to not do this. At the end of the day, you know, if it didn't work with a mermaid in Dragon Ball, it's not going to work here again. Oh, I just feel bad for Poir. I really feel bad that he had to keep on transforming himself into a sexy lady constantly to train Master Roshi and not fall for that trick. Wait, oh, that, that must have been torture for Poir. Is that, ca is that actually canon? Yeah, that's in Super. Oh, for no! Oh, for no! For Please training for the Universal for no. Tournament, he has Poir transform into a sexy lady to flirt with him a lot just so he can stop his urges from taking over. I mean, for goodness sake, think back to Dragon Ball and the battle with Ranfan. 
Oh yeah. Yep. I mean, much. the entire point of that fight was just to get Master Roshi to have a nosebleed to see him. Chin and hide. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> <laughs> okay, I haven't seen that one before. That was pretty good. It's like, okay, I think he's stupid enough not to look up. Bitch, I can jump! <laughs> Thank you. Oh no. That white Sebastians can't jump? Oh, this is also good. He just seen you, you duck. And he's like, yep, nope. She's definitely gone. Oh, wall <laughs> destroyed behind me? That must have been the win. It, it, these these really pirates can have their scary. smart moments, but man, they're dumb as rocks. <laughs> they are pretty dumb as rocks. It's pretty funny though. Hello, oh, power bomb. Fun fact about that power bomb: if you hack your way into that area to get to the power bomb now, it's fake. Pay me like one of your French chairs, though. I think if you collect that, it doesn't do anything. It doesn't do anything. Wow. Yeah, it's just it's just there as a sprite. I don't think it's an actual item. Save room! Save room! Let's <laughs> take a break from that, and next time on Let's Play Metroid Zero Mission Blind, hopefully we're a little less squishy.